Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Gemini Jets 1272 here, coming back to you guys with another, um, another video for you guys. This one is kind of special, as you guys can tell by, by the title. This is my 150 and 50 subscribers special. So actually, I hit 150 subscribers quite a few months ago, and in fact, now I, I'm at 170. So, yeah, uh, I'm just a little late, but I just have been super busy. That's why I haven't been posting as much. But um, hopefully, that'll change. I'm trying to make more time for the airport and getting updates out for you guys um so yeah but this is um this was requested by or actually this was a suggestion by Jets 1975 and citrus aviation and i think there was one more um comment down below if you also did request that in one of my past videos that i said that and i can't even remember which one it was but i did so anyway but please um go go and ch check out those guys' channels and I'm sure you guys are already are subscribed to them if you guys are subscribed to me because they're actually quite popular and I do look up to them in making my content and videos. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, this is my top 25 favorite, most favorite models. Um, so, yeah. We're just going to get started right here with this um, UPS 767-300 freighter. I mean, I think the reason why I like this model is because... <clears throat> I don't know, it just seems so solid to me, like, that probably sounded really weird, but I mean, it just, like, I don't know, like, some other Gemini jets just seem like, 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 the wheels are gonna, like, fall off and stuff, and, like, the gear's gonna fall off. For some reason, this aircraft seems like it can, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I just really do like this plane, but that's for number 25, and we're gonna make our way down to number one. So, and my 24th favorite model is this. Beautiful Southwest 737-300 in the Arizona 1 library. Um, I think probably the reason why I like this model is A, it's my only 737-300, and B, I just like the colorful library. So, Next is my 23rd favorite model, and that is the United 757-300. Um, I like this plane just because I do like the, 75, uh, the 757 series, and United is probably one of my favorite airlines. Um, so yeah, next up in the 23rd spot is this beautiful JetBlue A320 in the Betts and Blue livery. I mean, this is an absolutely stunning model. This was in like the, either the May or June releases, I think it was June, but it's a great model. Um, I just, I just, I don't know, I just really like it. Next up is the United 737-800. Um, they're with split skin guitars. There may be a few reasons why I like this. Um... Maybe, or I think I like it, A, because I've been on it. I, not like this exact plane, but I have been on a United 737-800. It seems like it's sitting really low for some reason. No, no, I was just imagining that. But, yeah, I have been on one of these, and in fact, I was an economy comfort, so it was, like, right up there by the engine. Um, but, um, it was just a, it's a very fun plane to fly on, very spacious very quiet, it's a nice plane to fly in, so, and also, I do like the split scimitars in the library. So, next is the Delta A321. <clears throat> I think the re or, this is the number 21st? Yeah, I think it's the number 21st. Wait, hang on. Sorry guys, this is, this, this is my top 15 most favorite models. I don't know why I said 25. Um, but, obviously there's not even 25 models here, I don't know why I didn't think of that out. But anyway, this is my 10th most favorite model, um, and it is the Delta A321 by Gemini Jets, because I know Aero Classics didn't release one, but, yeah, um, all these are by G Gemini Jets, unless I say they're not. Um, so, I mean, what's not to love about the A321 in the Delta library? That's all I really can say about it. So next one is the FedEx MD-10 freighter. I like this one because, I mean, I kind of like, I like history, and I mean, it's a, it was a very, it flew mostly in like the 80s and 90s and 70s. Um, so I guess that's probably why I like it, because I like kind of classical aircraft, which I guess it really isn't classical because it's still flying today, but um, the actual DC-10 is a pretty old plane. And actually, this one was ordered in like 1973, which is so, which is really cool because it's still flying, as I know, as far as I know. Next up is the 
is my favorite, um, is the eighth favorite model. And that is the Etihad 777-300ER um, in the new colors by Gemini Jets. Um, once again, I don't really know why I like this aircraft. I mean, the library is absolutely stunning, and I do like the And it's my only triple three, so, I mean, it's just a very cool plane, I think. <clears throat> All right, in the seventh spot is the Delta Connection ERJ-170. Um, and I think I probably I like this plane, um, A, because I've flown on it before. And actually, I heard a lot of, like, from my friends, like, not, like, on, like, YouTube, but, like, my friends, like, here at home. Like, not, like, actually at home, but in, like, my city. They always said that, like, Embraers were, were small planes to fly in, like, and they're, like, tiny. And actually, um, when I got on, um, this bird right here, it, or it wasn't the exact one, but it was one of its types, um, um, I actually didn't find it small at all. I mean, I found it quite spacious, actually. I had nice leg room. If you guys have seen the trip report, you guys do know what I'm talking about with the leg room, and I mean, I did the whole thing on it. All that will be in the description, by the way, so you guys can go and watch that. Um, but yeah, um, it's just a great plan, I think. It's my, I, I think that this, if I haven't, if I wouldn't have been on this, it probably wouldn't be in my top 15 favorite, but, um, yeah. <clears throat> All right, here's our one and only Aero Classic, Aero Classics model in there. It's the JetBlue Air Airbus A320 by Aero Classics in Boston Red Sox colors. Um, and I like this model because, A, I like JetBlue, and oh, I, I, I don't mind it, I guess. Um, and, B, because the Red Sox are my second favorite, most favorite um, MLB team. Sally, you know, they did get beat by the Indians, but, yeah. Um, that's why I like it, I think. And I think the library looks gorgeous on it, so... Next is the Alaska Airlines CRJ-700, <clears throat> um, and I like this plane because, I, I mean, I like regional jets for some reason. In fact, the next, or my, actually, in, in my top three favorite models, there's two regional jets, so that shows you how much I like them. I don't know, I just, well, I think probably because they fly a lot more regional jets in, into Epley and Des Moines than they do, like, mainliners, like A320s and stuff like that. I mean, they still use them, but... Just not as often, so I think that's what really got me to like regional birds. Um, but yeah, and this actually used to come, I think it was a once daily from Seattle. Um, and yeah, but now that's on a 747, which, I mean, it's okay, but I, I like the CRJ 700 better. So, in my fourth spot is the Delta MD 90. I mean, really, the only reason why this is my fourth spot is because basically it was my favorite model for like two years until I really started collecting and started buying more models. I mean, this was my top favorite model, and I loved it so much, and I, I mean, it was just like my favorite model. I had it on my nightstand almost every night, um, just because that's how much I liked it, so, yeah, he's, um, number four. Then for number three, <clears throat> we have the Delta Connection CRJ-700. Once again, I like regional jets, and this plane does come into Omaha, and, well, and actually, when I went, when I went on vacation, there's one of these Sitting right next to our gate, actually, in the trip report, you can see that. Um, and once again, that'll be in, in, in the description. So, yeah. Um, second, or third, sorry, is the Delta Connection CRJ-7. And in the second place is United Express E145. I know I, in previous videos, I have said this is my favorite. And I don't know why my camera's out of focus. There we go. <clears throat> but, I mean, same, same deal, basically. I like the regional jets, and actually I see these quite often. Um, I see them in, in, in the skies above Omaha a lot. Uh, my friends have flown on it, my, a lot of my friends have flown on it, and they sent me pictures, and it's just, it's a really cool plane. It's small, but it's cool. And number one, most of you guys who have been on my channel for a while can probably guess it, and it is the beautiful American Airlines 757-200, the old library. Um, and I've explained this already, but on um, past videos, but I love this plane just because I love the, I love, I absolutely loved the old library. I mean, I love the shininess. Cause it, it was so easy to tell if it was an American. Because you would see the, that, um, the glint of silver in, in the sky. And, I mean, I like the 757 also. Probably one of my favorite aircrafts. Maybe. Yeah. So, anyway, guys. That is my top five most favorite models. Top 15. I keep getting, getting my numbers mixed up. But, anyway... 
Um, next video will be a Southeastern Georgia airport update. Um, I wish I could tell you when exactly that would be. I'm thinking later this week is what I'm hoping for, I guess. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be it, it, it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. And also follow me on Instagram at GeminiJets1272 for kind of like um, a behind-the-scenes look, I guess, and more information about my airport and stuff like that. So follow me at GeminiJets1272. And thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.